Well, the rant today, I'm going to back on the nuclear fucking meltdown fucking disaster. Now fucking Fukushima has come out and says, oh yeah, from day one, the fucking earthquake tsunami blew up fucking holes, centimeter holes in reactor one and two. Which that means there's holes this fucking big in reactor fuck one, two, three, four, five, six. The operator of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has confirmed the leakage of some radioactive wastewater that was being transferred from a reactor to the disposal facility. Tokyo Electric Power Company has been transferring highly radioactive water from turbine buildings to the facility. The TEPCO said on Thursday morning that the water level inside the facility had decreased by 4.8 centimeters over the past 20 hours. The drop translates to a loss of more than 57 tons. Workers later confirmed that the contaminated water had flowed into a passage leading to another building. The utility says there has been no change in the radiation readings of the groundwater. But it Lion fuckers says it will beef up its monitoring and check whether the leakage occurred due to an inadequate reinforcement at the storage facility. Well, let me tell you something. These lying motherfuckers, the fucking media, there's a price to pay. If they would have covered this properly, how long were they there? A week? You know, you had CNN, I remember Anderson Cooper and those guys are asking this fucking nuclear energy fuckhead from MIT who was lying his ass up, should we be here? And I'm screaming, get the fuck out, get the fuck out now. Japan's nuclear regulatory agency has admonished Tokyo Electric Power Company for failing to prevent additional female workers from being exposed to radiation. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says two TEPCO workers were exposed to three millisieverts of radiation while performing clerical work at the plant for about 10 days after the March 11th disaster. The figure is three times the annual permissible level. The two workers had not been registered as workers engaged in radiation-related operations. The agency, which belongs to the industry ministry, said the utilities should have reacted more quickly to such problems related to radiation. Well, they know. It isn't like they don't fucking know. They do know. They don't fucking report it because they don't give a fuck. TEPCO was also reprimanded for not taking measures to protect workers from radiation exposures at an earthquake-resistant shelter facility until April 3rd, despite high levels of radio radioactive substances there. The utility was admonished for failing to take necessary steps to shield workers from radiation at the Fukushima Daini plant as well, where outdoor radiation levels remained high through March 21st. The agency ordered TEPCO to take measures to ensure that there will be no further such occurrences, including regular radiation monitoring of its workers. Now, I don't know what the fucking situation is, but it's fucking pathetic, and it's fucking, it's going to cost millions of people their lives. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will spray a special type of liquid glue onto buildings at the site to prevent radioactive dust from spreading. The containment work is scheduled to begin on Friday. If this would have been reported fucking properly, this thing, the contemporized morons of the fucking world, would have been outraged and demanded this thing be entombed. Tokyo Electric Power Company announced that it will use two fire engines to spray a chemical liquid onto buildings at the nuclear facility. However, company officials say that not all the walls can be sprayed because debris still blocks access to some areas. TEPCO is also planning to erect covers over the reactor buildings at some point in the future. Radioactive dust appears to be scattered over buildings at the nuclear facility due to several explosions that occurred in March. The special chemical selected for the task is usually used to contain asbestos. Beginning in April, a different chemical hardening agent was sprayed over the ground and scattered debris to prevent radioactive dust from being blown away by strong winds. However, the latest chemical compound won't be applied to all areas because if it gets inside the pool that contains spent fuel rods, it might interfere with the circulation of cooling water. However, the latest chemical compound won't be applied to all areas because if it gets inside the pool that contains spent fuel rods, it might interfere with the circulation of cooling water. Stupid motherfuckers. Prevention of radioactive substances from spreading to surrounding areas is one of the main goals of the utility's plan to stabilize the reactors. Tomb this fucking thing. They should have been entombed from the fucking get. More than 100 people in northeastern Japan have wrapped up an emotional homecoming that was all too brief. They're among tens of thousands of residents forced from the towns and villages that lie within the exclusion zone around the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. 111 people from the towns of Namie and Futaba went on a supervised bus tour on Thursday to visit their homes. 
They left the area weeks ago after the 20-kilometer no-entry zone was established around Fukushima Daiichi. This is one of the special visits of the now nine municipalities near the nuclear plant began on May 10th. Among the participants on the tour were some 50 people whose relatives died or are still missing following the earthquake and tsunami. Participants in protective gear offered flowers and fruit for their loved ones and prayed. They were allowed to stay for only about 90 minutes. I feel a little relieved. I don't want to appear sad, so I've decided not to cry so much. The nuclear radiation levels, read all this, holy fuck. This is a mega disaster and the media is to fucking blame. They are to fucking blame. This thing should have been in tomb from the fucking start. U.S. Space Agency, NASA, announced that it will launch an unmanned asteroid probe in 2016. It will be the first U.S. mission to collect surface samples from an asteroid and bring them back to Earth. NASA said on Wednesday that the spacecraft, called Osiris Rex, will take four years to approach an asteroid. The vehicle will extend a robotic arm to collect at least 50 grams of material from the surface and return to Earth in 2023. The mission is expected to cost around $800 million. NASA says asteroid samples can better explain how the solar system was formed and how life on Earth began. The agency says the mission will lay the groundwork for President Barack Obama's space program, which calls for sending humans to asteroids and then to Mars. Last year, Japan's unmanned space probe Hayabusa completed the world's first mission to bring back samples from an asteroid. And you fucking morons all fucking out there, fucking out, ah, this ain't shit. There's going to be so much fucking cancer right across this fucking country and this fucking world. There are no safe levels of fucking nuclear radiation. And the levels are fucking way up all over the world. Here in the United States, they're way up. Look at the fucking scientists and the experts on them. Fucking the real fucking, the fucking organizations who don't have an agenda like the nuclear energy fucking and the media. Kevin Blanche, stay tuned.